I am a direct descendant of the Bradfords, and you know I'm a, consider myself to be a strong, independent woman. Reading this interesting article because I joke about being a spinster. Yeah. I have a couple of other, a couple of other single friends, and, and we joke about being spinsters. And so I'm like, oh, that piqued my interest. And then I read the article, reading about these three strong women. And then when I read about them being Bradford relatives, I'm like, oh, I wonder if it runs in the once in the blood because I go directly back to William Bradford and several other pilgrims as well. Both my parents are 13th cousins or something along those lines that we found out a few years ago. And But reading that article, I'm just like, hmm, it's in my blood. Strong, independent women. I travel a lot. Every year I go to Europe, usually with my mom, which might sound corny to some people, but my mom is the most active, you know, 60-something-year-old elderly person. I joke about her being elderly because it's hard to believe with how active she is. We have more laughs. We have a lot of bickering too, and she is my mom. <laughs> but we have laughs and we have so much fun. I, I, I have very few friends who are as active as my mom. Do you think that, are there other positive examples of single old maid spinsters <laughs> <laughs> in history that you've come across? Or? Um, not so much, because that, that's what I loved about that article. Because I, I, and especially when I didn't realize at the time that that would be acceptable at all. I mean, even my mom is referred to in her generation, which is you know just a generation before mine. That you know, if you weren't married by 25, you were an old spinster, an old maid. Where was this? This was in Austria. We were in the bus. My mom and I go on these very busy bus tours where you're up at six and you're basically on the go until nine, ten o'clock at night sometimes. But we see a lot. And we were driving, well, on the bus, driving through Austria and looking out the window, fascinated. It's the first time I'd ever seen the Alps, ever. You hear about the Swiss Alps, you know, your whole life, and this is the Swiss, Swiss Alps, Austrian Alps, French Alps, and it was unbelievable. And on the side of this highway was this tiny little church that, that I, I swear that <laughs> isn't much bigger than it appears here in the image. Um, and we found a lot of small little random churches just on the roadside like this. I thought it was beautiful. This is my dear friend Britt, who I met on a tour. My mom and I went on a tour in 2013, and we did seven countries in 10 days. It was a lot. Every day we woke up in a different country, and she was one of our tour guides from the Netherlands, where pretty much everybody speaks English perfectly. And we really hit it off, and we ended up becoming very close friends in real life to the point that we talk almost every day now. And this was me. Um, a year later, I went and visited her in the Netherlands. And this is us in Volendam, which is a beautiful coastal city, not too far from Amsterdam. Went down and met her family, you know, stayed in her mom's house, stayed in, in my friend's apartment. We had a wonderful time. Yeah. And she's come here twice. And we uh, actually flew out to Vegas, too. And while we were out in Vegas, we took a day trip out to the Grand Canyon, which was fabulous. And we also rented a car and went out and jumped out of an airplane over the desert in Arizona on the border with Nevada and Arizona. This is me and my mom. This was last March. We did a tour all around Italy and uh, this was in the Coliseum. It's it's unreal when you go to these places because you've seen them on TV, you've read about them growing up back when you didn't care because youth is wasted on the young, <laughs> learning in the classroom. It, it's so different when you're actually in these places, hearing the stories of things that happen here, and, and you're part of it. You really feel history. Yeah. And where are you going in a few weeks? Going to Greece, April 25th. You we're and, flying you and on your a, mom. Me and my mom. 